So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and we are here in York County today, kind of south central Pennsylvania. Just got done filming the Cadoris Iron Furnace back there, a video on history. But in our next video here, we're going to switch from history to legend and lore. So some time ago, I got a book sent to me by a viewer. It's called Don't Look Behind You. <laughs> you can see the cover, the skull in there. So it's kind of a story or a story book about legends and lore in this area, in York County area. It's by, a, by Timothy Renner. There's a story in here called The Toad Man, and it occurs in this area, right along here on the Cadoris Creek. There used to be a road down the way called Toad Road. Actually, this road might here might be part of it, but let me, let me show you a little bit of the area. So there is the Cadoris Iron Furnace, right along Furnace Road here. That's where the bridge goes across. Down here is the Cadoris Creek. And if you'd walk down this road a ways, Furnace Road kind of bends up this way, but there's an old road that keeps going straight right along the creek. It's all private now. Um, the road was abandoned back in the early 70s because of Hurricane Agnes. I think the hurricane washed it out and was never like reopened to the public again. Yeah, so it ran straight up through that way. Toad Road. I think further way up it's called Trout Run Road. But they would have come down, so this would probably part in part of it at one point. And then it would continue on down this way. Furnace Road crosses the creek up there. Furnace Creek. There's a road that goes that way too called Riverview Farm Road. I think we're going to take a walk down this way because the legend takes place in this area along the Cadoris Creek on what was formerly known as Toad Road. So let's go for a little walk down this quieter section of the road. Actually, this walking down this way or driving down this way to what's called Riverview Farm Road would take you to the new, uh, one of the newest state parks here in Pennsylvania, River, uh, Susquehanna Riverlands State Park. We're gonna visit there a little bit later after I film here. But I think it'll be a little bit quieter down there to film. We'll find a place to stop. I'll read some of this to you about the story of the Toad Man. It's actually kind of slightly creepy. <laughs> All right, so this old road gives off a much better vibe for our story. Although probably better told at night. Once again, down there's the Cadoris Creek. Where this legend takes place. So it's called the Toad Man. And there are similar, other similar legends from other places in the country and around the world. I think back in 1955 in Loveland, Ohio, there's a story about a woman seeing some creepy looking frogmen on a bridge. I'll read a little bit of that to you. I'll read a little bit of that to you later. It's in the book I have here. And there are stories in other places in the world of certain speared beings that are kind of like fish like frog like that kidnap people and children. So our legend of the Toad Man isn't necessarily a unique legend. So let me read a little bit to you about the frogmen that were out in Ohio. Let me read you that story. But well, oh, here's a picture. This is the artist's rendition of the Toad Man. Talk about a creepy picture right there. Imagine that coming up out of the creek as you're walking down the road, especially like later at night or something like that. I forgot my reading glasses, but we should be okay. So here's the story about the frogmen. One of the strange or cryptic creatures reported in the United States is the Loveland Frogmen, or Frogmen to be precise. At about 3.30 a.m. one night in May of 1955, an unnamed businessman was witness to three creatures near Loveland, Ohio. Variations of the story place the creatures alongside the road, under a bridge, or on a bridge, but description of the creatures of the cryptids is consistent. Reportedly, they were three to four feet tall, naked, hairless, bipedal, and covered with leathery, wrinkled skin. The creatures were said to resemble upright walking frogs. One of the creatures held a metal object the witness described as a wand, which emitted a series of sparks and flashes when the frogman raised it above its head. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what I think about this in a moment. There's a certain, anyway, something came to mind. 
Other reports of frogmen around the Loveland area have been filed over the years. Most recently in 2016 when a couple reports seen an extremely large frog which proceeded to walk on two legs. They filmed the creature but as tends to be the case with these things the results are blurry and once again inconclusive. The footage does show something with large glowing eyes which seems to have shoulders and arms whatever it was. Yeah. So that's stuff happening out in Ohio. So I do love cryptid stories. You know, cryptids are creatures that supposedly don't exist, or mysterious things that people can't explain. But that story is a little bit, I don't know. What I picture is, it feels like what he saw were just three men working on a bridge, maybe wearing some kind of wetsuit or hazmat suit or some kind of industrial suit. Maybe the wand was just a, a torch or a welder, what they were doing at 3.30 in the morning, I don't know, but Kind of, that's kind of what comes to men. Some men he saw working on a bridge and they look like something else. That one doesn't really sound too convincing to me. Like I said, although I love cryptid stories, that one, I don't know, I feel like he saw something else, <laughs> to be honest. So like I was saying, but I, that story doesn't pertain to this area. I just want to share that with one, one with you. He shares it in the book just to kind of show you that there are other similar stories in our own country. And at the end of this video, I'll share some stories from around the world, too. Just a couple. But let's get back to this place, the Toad Man. Here along what might have been Toad Road at one point, or at least a part of it. Okay, so right behind me is the Cadoris Creek, where this story takes place. And the woman that told this story to the author of this book, Timothy, her name is Barb. And she, she was telling him some other stories about this area. So I'm, just, I'm kind of jumping right into the middle here. Barb was telling me about the car she was riding in getting stuck in a ditch when her stories turned well away from the mundane. We were trying to get the car out in a hurry because we were worried about the Toad Man. <laughs> and he, he questions her, he's like, Toad Man? I questioned. Oh yes, you've never heard of the Toad Man? Barb replied. I had not. She continued, he lived down there in that creek bottom back here. The Toad Man is the reason it's called the Toad Road. I've read many reasons Toad Road may have earned that name and made a few other guesses myself, but this is the first time I've ever heard it attributed to a cryptid creature. If it turned out to be true, it would be most fitting. And he, asked, then he says, I asked Barb to clarify what she meant by Toad Man. She told me it was what it sounded like, a creature that walked upright, was the size of a man, but had features and coloring of a toad. The Toad Man, Barb said, was the greatest worry about being on Toad Road at night. I'm not going to tell you I saw the Toad Man, Barb said, but I'm not going to tell you that I didn't see him either. Then he tells another story from this area. My mind shot back to the newspaper report I found from 1973, in which a man named Michael reported being attacked by a green-haired monster on Trout Run Road, which is, at, which is at the other end of Toad Road in the same little creek valley. Then I thought of James Kibler's report of what his father saw while motorcycling on Toad Road. An unidentified humanoid creature crouched alongside the road. Um, James has since told me that few the few details his father would relate about the creature was that it was green in color and frog-like. At least in a way it was crouching. So two other, two other stories in this area that are similar to Barb's about these green frog-like creatures that live here along this creek. Who knows? Maybe there's a frog man coming out of the creek right now to get me. That would be something to see though. Big toad frog-like creature coming up out of the river here. Of course, I doubt it would happen today. <laughs> I actually see ice out there in the river or the creek here. It's, today's December 21st. Not quite the weather for a toad man, I don't believe. Yeah, the author then tells several other stories as well from this area, just a little bit north of here, where they've seen strange, you know, humanoid creatures that resemble half human, half frog, or even fish-like qualities to them. So it's not just it's not just one story of the toad man from this area. There's multiple stories. You know, like, because I, I read that story, to see the ones from out in Ohio, the frogmen out there. Which, that one, like I said, I don't know if I really believe that one a whole lot. Not saying that I believe this story here about the Toad Man. 
But then there, there are other stories around the world like from Russia and Ukraine, some of the Slavic countries of these toad-like or frog-like spirits that live in the water. One story says they collect the souls of drowned men. Another story says that they kidnap children and women. So sometimes they're feared, sometimes they're revered, these toad spirits, creatures. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. There is a precedent around the world for creatures like that. It's kind of interesting. Not just long here along the Cadoris Creek. <laughs> but interesting story nonetheless. I actually love reading about cryptid creatures here in Pennsylvania. I'm not going to say I believe in a toad man. I find the story intriguing though. But hey, if you have, if you have, if you have your own story to tell of an encounter with the toad man, especially if you're from this area, by all means let me know in the comments. Or if you have other stories you want to share along that same topic. I mean, if you follow my channel, you know I do a series on Bigfoot. We've talked about that. I don't necessarily believe in Bigfoot myself, but I enjoy telling stories about him. You just had a truck come up behind me there. But yeah, like I say, I forgot what I was saying there, but yeah. If you have your own story to share, by all means do so. Like I said, I love, I love reading about and hearing about these kinds of things. Cryptids, or cryptozoology they call it. But I think that'll be it for this video. I'm actually, like I mentioned, we're right near the new state park, Susquehanna Riverlands State Park. I think I mentioned that in this video, but I'm actually going to drive up to the parking lot to do some hiking there today, I think. Give away some merch, a channel sticker, or a mug or something away in that video. All right, but as always, thanks for coming along with me on this video. Thanks for listening, sitting with me a little bit as I read some stories to you about the Toad Man. All right, folks, thanks for watching.